Welcome to the Summit Trucking PeopleNet training. In this video, we'll be going over logging in, logging out, and other basic functions. Whenever you first get into a truck with PeopleNet, this is the screen you should see. Your driver ID and password are both the last six digits of your social security number. In order to fill that number in, we'll need to pull up the keyboard. The keyboard icon can be found at the bottom right hand corner of the screen or there's a soft key on the front of the unit that looks like a, a keyboard. Once you pull the keyboard up, you can switch to the numbers by hitting the 123 button and then you enter your ID. The easiest way to switch from one, one field to the next is to hit the tab button. To close the keyboard, you can hit the red X at the bottom right hand corner, or you can press the keyboard soft key on the front of the unit. Close the keyboard, and then press submit. After a brief data call, you'll be taken to the duty status screen. This screen will be covered in greater detail in the hours of service and e-logs video. So on this screen you select the duty status and then you confirm the change. Next you'll be presented with a electronic DVIR. So we'll quickly fill this DVIR out. out. So first we'll enter in our name. I'll hit tab, fill in the trailer, hit tab, fill in the trailer hub, and then we will fill in whether there's a defect found. We can then close the keyboard and press the done. This will bring us to the home screen. The first two buttons we'll talk about are the home button and the back button. So if you go to a different screen, you can press the home button to return back to the, to the main home screen. You can also use the back button to go back to the previous screen. There are buttons for volume and brightness on the front of the unit. We'll also go over logging out. So before you leave the truck, you'll need to be sure to log out. If you press the log out button, you'll be presented with this screen. You answer yes. And now we will select our final duty status upon log out. Next we'll have to fill out our post-trip DVIR. Now we will confirm the duty status change. Once the data call is completed, you will be back to the same screen that you started with. That concludes this video. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out the other Summit Trucking training videos.